Have you applied to Sussex yet? It's time to get your college education on track. We'll register you for classes, help with financial aid, and set up your payment options. You're just a few short steps away from a quality and affordable education. Visit sussex.edu slash apply, fill out the app, and you're ready. Arthur J. Gallagher Risk Management Services, specializing in public entity risk management, loss control, and self-insured alternatives. Put your trust in Arthur J. Gallagher locally by contacting George Moorville, who served Sussex County schools and municipalities for over 40 years. Arthur J. Gallagher and George Moorville support Sussex County athletes and charities. Arthur J. Gallagher Risk Management Services, business without barriers. For more information, call George Moorville at 973-383-3110. All right, Austin, uh, we're here at the Sparta football camp. You guys are getting ready for the season. Just talk about what we can expect from this 2019 Spartan. Uh, I think you should expect a team that's hungry, um, that's been in their turn. Uh, a lot of guys who haven't been able to play, who've just been there, now they're ready to go, and uh, everyone's just motivated uh, to get that ring. We got a lot of big things coming. Like We got a lot of returning seniors, but a lot of our underclassmen, they're doing really good, and they can play a big role for our team this year. It's really the same thing every year. We know we just we just reload, we come back, and we're gonna be better than ever. I mean, we have we have some great seniors that stepped up. Um, they've been living, they've they've been on the sideline these past three years, but they're really hungry to uh, show what they got. First of all, I'm proud of our kids. Uh, you know, work. You know, they they've actually had a good off season. You know, starting in the weight room. You know, taking into the first half of the summer. You know, they've had. Uh, Good attendance. They've actually come out here and you know competed every day. So you know, and I think it's going to be, you know, a lot of the same. You know, we're, we're, we're going to go out there and try to do our thing, and you know, and uh, and uh, try to stop other people from uh, doing their thing. You guys have a great tradition here in Sparta. You know, although you graduated a lot of key key guys, you also have a lot of key guys come back and the guys that'll that'll step up and fill the shoes of the guys that graduated. Just talk about that tradition and uh, and some of the faces that people can expect to see uh, to, to make an impact this year. Yeah, you know, I, I honestly think the whole tradition thing starts, you know, as young as, you know, second and third grade. You know, we we, uh, we actually have a great turnout in our youth program every single year. And uh, every year um, we get good freshmen that actually turn into good good sophomores and then juniors and seniors. Uh, you know, obviously we, we've actually lost a lot of starters, you know, graduated in 17 seniors last year, but we got some key pieces back. Uh, we, we have uh, three uh, skill players returning in Austin Castarina, Brendan Cena, and Tyler Zabo. Uh, we, we have two offensive linemen returning in uh, TJ Hurley and Tim Semper. Um, on, our, on the defensive front, we have uh, um, a returning lineman in uh, Timmy, uh, a returning linebacker in Sam Boucher, and uh, Tyler and uh, Anthony, uh, or excuse me, uh, Nick Broccoletti in the uh, defensive backfield. You had a big year last year, almost nearly 100 tackles and uh, six sacks. I was uh, walking in with, with, uh, with Coach Kappelmeyer. Uh, you know, he's a defensive guru, gets you guys ready every year. Just talk about what we can expect from the Sparta Spartans defense. Our defense, we're coming hard. We got a lot of returning seniors. Coach Cap prepares us every week, same with all of our other coaches. They have the right like personnel for every game, right scheme, everything's perfect. I think everything we do on defense starts with Coach Cap. I think he's a great coach. Um, you know, um, you know, he, he he has the ability to get his point across and what we're trying to do on defense um, extremely well. The kids respond to him no matter what front, no matter what coverage. You know, he teaches it really well, and uh, and 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 he constantly uh, has these has our kids. Uh, ready to play football. You're going to be a big anchor on uh, both lines this year. Talk about it, where, the, where the line is right now and uh, how, how you guys are looking. We lost three of our starters last year and uh, we, we were kind of thinking like what are we going to do but we actually have a full senior line right now and we're looking to do great. We have uh, Aiden Maxwell, Trey Mudrick, and uh, JJ Valentin that are stepping up this year, and I expect very good things from them. You guys start off with uh, with a familiar foe in Ramapo. While the fans may be sick of seeing Ramapo, I know you guys don't shy away from a challenge. You want to play the best teams to prove that you guys are the best team. So just talk about that challenge with Ramapo. Uh, we can't wait. It's great going right off the bat because you know you don't have to wait to play a great team. You're playing a great team right away. It's a team we've been playing the past few years, so we're going to be extremely motivated this year. We want them bad, so uh, we're ready to go. We want them. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be like my fourth time going up against them. I can't wait. Like We got it this year, and it's just going to be a great game for everyone to watch. Losing to Ramapo ever since my sophomore year, um, I mean, I'm just hungry. I, I want to beat them as, as bad as anything else. Like They're top of my list right now. So. To me, high school football is about getting yourself uh, 
prepared to play in the playoffs. And you know something? Rampo is one of the best teams in the state every single year. So, you know, it's, it's actually a good gauge for us. It's, it's actually a good gauge to uh, see where we're at. But you know something? It's the first game of the season. Win or lose, no one's turning in pads after that game. So, you know, it, to, to me, to me, it's actually a good game. It's, it's a game that makes you better win or lose. And, and it's something that we could just springboard for the rest of the season.